Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris Denman live in St. Louis. Drinks with the band. Here we go. A little bit of a late start. Had to work on a few technical kinks, but it happens. E.T., Eric Tikoski joins me each and every week live from Los Angeles. He's the U.S. rep for Jack Daniels, and I'm very excited to chat with him, hang out, and introduce him to uh, people like Lily May. Lily May is going to join in just a bit. We're going to make a cocktail quick before we start talking to E.T. We've got prizes to give away. And I want to say thank you to the Cranesburg Arts Foundation, Snappy Bigman Coffee, and our friends at St. Louis Counseling Services. E.T., what's up, buddy? You know, regular day, nothing really happened today, right? No That's changes. Right. <laughs> You're getting through it, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my brother-in-law sent us a text, and he said, God, the news is so boring these days. <laughs> <laughs> right, already. People are yeah. going to maybe do human interest stories or uh, look into artists or who knows. Um, E.T., for this, for this show tonight, I've got yes. a special guest, Lily Mae, her family, her fiancé. It's going to be a hell of a time. I will warn you, she's played a few shows with a very special person to you, and we'll talk more about that. Are you, are you braced? Or are you going to behave? Look, if you don't think I've already cyber-stalked her and no. <laughs> What I, what I do feel bad about is she's awesome, and I want to talk about her stuff second. Right. <laughs> I have other questions first. Right after you get <laughs> into everything yeah. else. Um, yeah. Let's get so right to it. you can cut me off. You can just mute me when, I, when it gets right. overbearing. If it gets a little wild. Let's yeah. get right into the cocktail. We're going to give away some prizes tonight, but uh, this is important. Jack Daniels makes this happen. You bring a special cocktail recipes. What do we have tonight? Yeah. So tonight I figured, um, last week I gave you a little bit of a challenge. So this week it's going to be pretty simple. We can build this one right in the glass. Everyone's heard of a Jack and Coke. Everyone's heard of a mule. So we're going to tie those two drinks together and make a Jack and Coke apple mule. Okay. So two great tastes that taste great together, right? So we'll take your traditional Jack and Coke, but we're going to flip around a little bit. First, we're going to use Jack apple. Um, but before we do that, let's uh, squeeze a little lemon in your glass. See that reference I already made, getting ready for Lily. <laughs> Very nice for the for us hardcore fans. So we're gonna squeeze the lemon in the in the glass, and then once the lemon's in there, fill your glass with ice. Nice, good work. Yeah, it's a good ice pour. Yeah. And now we're going to add our shot of Jack Apple. With I don't those... know if you notice this. Look at you. A nice man sent this to me from Los Angeles to St. Louis. <laughs> did you glue that close? I did for dramatic effect. Nice, it worked. How many did you say? Ounce and a half. It's like five. There you go. Beautiful. Um, and now we're going to almost 50 50, a smidge more Coke um, than ginger beer, but just about 50 50. Nice. Key hooked me up today, prepped and ready. Key with a wine key? She yes, should brand him and give him out. <laughs> Did you just roll your eyes kind of at me like my wife does? It was, a loving, it was a loving <laughs> eye roll. Hey, shout out to our moms. Our moms tune in every week. Yeah. And Kenny Kelman's on tonight. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> no one and for those of you tuning in for <laughs> Lily May, she'll be on just I, a moment. Okay. All right. So you got all that in. Grab a spoon. We're going to give it a little bit of a stir. Can make go nice and now whether you have lemon twist or apple slices just throw them on top i have a couple apple slices i'm going to throw on top <laughs> look at you fancy pants that's what we call prepared what's the best apple the bat me i like the uh i feel like this is a joke but if no, you're actually it's, asking it's me very real yeah i like granny smith okay Cheap, How about you? But, uh, <laughs> you 
got a pink lady? I don't know. <laughs> I said that and then I couldn't think of a funnier. What, um, hey, real quick, on average, how many apples grow in an apple tree? 27. All of them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy uh, Wednesday, everybody. Um, so, hilarious joke, by the way. I was so having a hard time getting that down. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a strong pour. So, ET, you hook people up with prizes every week. You've got a great True. prize giveaway. You've got a few things to give away. We're also going to give away a Lily May album. So, that's exciting. If we have have a few pictures of these, we'll show those in a second. Thank you, sir. We got the album to give away, and I'm going to say if you hit share, you're entered to win that album. That's all you got to do. Hit share. We'll pick a winner, announce it, get it out to you. What are your prizes today, and what do you want people to do to enter to win? So tonight we have a Jack Daniels something. I'm sure of it. Um I definitely know we're giving away some Jack Apple t-shirts, but we also have a Jack Daniels something. And well, I can't remember what I sent you. It's a cool setup Ooh, yeah. for a light. That. In the bar, your room. How could I forget? Yes, the retro Jack Daniels light up sign for your wall, your bar, your kitchen. Maybe you put it outside your house and turn the lights on when you want your friends to come over. I mean, it's just a party. Yeah. Okay. The sign is on, the bar is open. I think we do that. That's my grandfather um, always said. Yeah, but based on tonight's guest, I thought it might be fun for people to think back. So we all have favorite songs by artists, but then people in other bands cover those songs. And some of them actually became the more known version than the original. So, for example, everyone says that Hendrix's version of All on the Watchtower right, is better than the original. Um you could also argue that Hendrix's version of Hey Joe is better than the original. So what is your song? What's the cover song that you like more than the original? Great question. Yeah. Like, you know, if you watch, when you watch George Harrison, when they got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then Prince comes out and does the guitar solo, pretty epic and maybe even more insane than the original. So I think we all have songs we love that other artists have covered. So what is that song for you? What's that cover song that you feel might have outdone the original? Well, I think I know yours. P. Diddy uh, sampling. <laughs> Come with me with <laughs> the Godzilla the way, soundtrack. Uh, so <laughs> that really did kind of break my heart. Oh. The When Jimmy Page was a guest on Saturday Night Live, I'm like, that's amazing. Because back then there's no internet. So it's just like, I heard Jimmy Page was going to be on Saturday Night Live. I had no idea he was coming on with P. Diddy to play guitar behind his sample track, Come With Me of Cashmere, which is my favorite Zeppelin song of all time. Um, it will go down in history as the coolest thing that P. Diddy ever did and the uncoolest thing that Jimmy Page ever did. That Pistol would be my, packing, uh, itchy finger, trigger happy, try to trap me. Bad rap, wired tap me, backstab me, break the faith, fall from grace. That doesn't that doesn't move you. It's a good thing this show is called Drink Drinks with the Band because oh, after, I wasn't trying to flow. That's that's you, for later. No, 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 no. That, it was just the fact that those are the lyrics <laughs> played against Brutal. Cashmere, and you just reminded me. So, <laughs> uh. and then you've got Godzilla running around. Um, so we've got those prizes. Yes. Let us know favorite cover song. And uh, we've got the T-shirts to give away as well. Double prize? Or do we want to be given to two different people? Like a first prize and a second prize? No, no, no. It's, this is all... If we can do that. Why don't we do this? The first prize gets the, the bars open sign and a T-shirt. Second prize gets a T-shirt. Deal. Nice third work, prize, sir. if we were playing the Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross version, third prize is what? You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago steak knives are next week. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we've got we got Lily May to get to. Her family's with her. It's going to be amazing. Um, again, take it easy on the Robert Plant talk, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be fine. I'm going to be good, I promise. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and bring on the family down in Nashville. Lily May, they're live. 
I don't even know if they can hear us, if we're ready. What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Drinks with the band. Look at you guys. That setup is so nice. I'm a huge fan. What's up, Lily Mae? Hi, guys. What up? Hey. What's up? How are you? <laughs> Wonderful. Real quick. Can't, couldn't be better. You guys look amazing. You look the part. It's amazing. Right? This is going to be great. That set is an all-time here on the show. Would you introduce oh, cool. to everybody real quick? Absolutely. We'll start. I'll go first. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, this is Frank Carter. This is my brother, Frank. What's up, Frank? Hey, Frank. Hey. And um, Scarlett, hey. our sister Scarlett on Hello. mandolin. I almost and wore the same thing. Kid. That would have been so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Misa Ariaga on the upright bass. What's up, Misa? How Good are to you? see you. <laughs> there he is. And I'm Lily May. And you're Lily May. So E.T. has a light, mild, just barely noticeable obsession with uh, Led Zeppelin. Lily May awesome. <laughs> and everybody in the room probably has a, a unique, I guess, career experience or, or, or partnership. E.T., take it away, man. I know you've got questions. What's he smell like? What's right he... Um, so really quick i did spend the entire day listening to you on spotify and you're very very awesome. talented we're going to get to all of that but first thanks in the in the brief time that you've met me do you think i have what it takes to be robert plant's best friend i absolutely from what from what i know about him is um he's he he may you know i think i i became his best friend quickly so yeah i think so <laughs> The, uh, no, I'm now, just, I'm you were on stage, so nice. that for people so that kind. might be watching that don't know this, you were on stage more than once with Robert Plant. Correcto. Right? Yes. And you yes. you sang the Sandy Denny part of um, Battle of Evermore. <laughs> yes. What is that? What is that? Tell me about that. I mean, how, uh, mind boggling to me. Well, um, so that, so I was actually pretty embarrassed because um, because I um, so I, I've had filled some dates for his fiddle player or his fiddle I filled in one show for his fiddle player a year before I ended up doing a tour with him where Misa and me um, opened also so we ended up doing this um, getting I got to play with him for his for a leg of his of the tour that was in Canada and America. So, um, which his fiddle player at this point is not working with him anymore. So this is like the end of his, of this run. So I got to do these couple of months of shows. So, um, so during this time period, we're, we're, we've done some shows and he asks me to learn this song and I was like embarrassed. I felt super embarrassed because I didn't know the song. I hadn't heard it before, you know? So I was just like, <laughs> he was kind of shocked, you know? <laughs> he was like, okay, you know, wow. Like, it, you know, he, he did seem a little surprised that I didn't, that I hadn't heard it. Um, but it was a great honor. And um, I, I um, yeah, I was pretty timid to sing with him. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, but that was, it was so cool. It was amazing. And hearing him talk about her and tell stories about her is pretty cool. Yeah, he really dug her in Fairport Convention, and that was one of his early obsessions. He loved that whole uh, folk rock Americana thing. But that's awesome. I'm, I watched a lot of the videos of you. It's really, I mean, for me, not being able to sing or play guitar would be amazing to do it, but I'm missing two ingredients, so good for you. And it, you <laughs> sounded great. I, but you really did, because not a lot of people can sing with Robert Plant and still be heard, and you did great, so rock on. <laughs> Well, thank you. I definitely, I, it was funny when we were, when we were working up the song, um, cause like what I would naturally do, he was kind of like, uh, hold it down. He was like, you know, bring, maybe bring down, like sing it in the, a little lower, you know? <laughs> so I was kind of like, okay. I was just totally like, okay. Trying to, I was trying to just contain myself and not, and not <laughs> be too excited. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's awesome. Not sing too a little too loud. <laughs> Same thing happens to people when they come on here. Isn't that right, ET? Just get always, ball always. nerves. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you, you know, Chris there was is like. Time. Go ahead. Oh, go, no, ahead. go ahead. No, <laughs> you're about to tell a story about Robert Plant. You go. 
just quick, just a quick, quickly. Um, we were in Canada. We had played this um, this little town there. It was uh, this amazing little festival, jazz festival, and um, the some of the the local people they had got some some local natives together. They do like a they do a ritual where they kind of bless people, certain acts who play the festival, and they wanted to do Robert for years and years and years, and he ended up making making it to this festival, and so they did. Uh, everyone got in a circle, held hands. This is right before you know, a few months before the Corona virus. So this was a nice, a good experience for the end of tw of 2019. But everyone was holding hands, so I'm like sitting here in this big circle holding Robert's hand for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and during this, everyone's just like holding hands. And I was just like, this is too funny. <laughs> the whole time I was just like, I can't even, it's too funny. That's I all, sorry. Our plant, I want to hold Robert Plant's hand. <laughs> you know, my wife and I, um, I joke, she doesn't joke. I joke that, you know how couples have celebrity <laughs> free passes? Like So I've heard. Right. I've, <laughs> Lily's like, yeah, guys, tell me that my DMs all the time. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Thanks. I always I always joke that we have the same um, free pass. Robert Plant. Robert? <laughs> Robert? <laughs> That's awesome. Lily, can you help oh, yeah. me by, make him call his way, bluff? I almost, I almost saw you live. <laughs> Um, you did Bourbon and Beyond, right? Yeah. So the year before yep. you played, I was there to see Robert and it rained out. No and way. Yeah. The, not only did it wow. rain out, but, you know, I worked for Jack and we sponsored the festival. So I had all access. And of course, the day <laughs> right. Robert plays, Aww. it's canceled. And myself wow. and two of my uh, childhood friends from home went to the restaurant where I know one of the bartenders really well. We walk in and he's like, oh my God, you'll never guess who just left. I was like, <laughs> damn. Wow. Um, damn. So you're the closest I have. So I heart you. And next time I'm in Nashville, I might stalk you. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Well, just a quick little um, Jack Daniels interjection. Um, we, um, my, well, my brother Frank and I, we all of our friend but um our dear friend richard Pryor, he actually passed away in in april and um but he is jack daniels like great great nephew so all these years and he's a drummer he was a drummer in a band from alabama so when i was when we were out when misa and i were out with on that robert plant tour richard was actually like setting up with his through his aunt or something, he was setting us up a private tour of the distillery to go and to go and, and visit it. And we if we didn't end up it didn't end up working out. So anyway, that was I was like I would got to tell you that too. So we had a little a little Jack Daniels. We almost met. We almost got to got to tour that also. But anyway, well I can make that happen for you. So that that, that <laughs> right. can still happen. That now can that still Richard, happen. Richard's gone, right? Oh man. <laughs> cool. well, well, sorry about that, but I'm I'm here for you. And let's. You know, as much as I am slightly obsessed with Zeppelin, I also really dug listening to you guys today all day. So I'm excited to hear you play and, and hear about more of your story. So thank you for indulging me and rock on. Um, thanks. Yeah, sorry. I can really I can make something that should last two seconds drag on for we got, a couple of days. We got all night. <laughs> We're here in Midcoast in St. Louis. We've got Lily May on. If you guys are just tuning in, hit share. You're entered to win Lily's album. We're going to get that for you from her website. We've got Jack Daniels prizes to give away, and we're going to do about four songs tonight. Look at this beautiful setup. Lily, if you want to hit your first song, let's hear it. Awesome. ET, see you, buddy. Later, guys. Thank right, you. Man. Take care. Well, <laughs> awesome. Cool. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Here's a song that <laughs> it's written about South Padre Island in South Texas. Hey, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well <laughs> on this awesome day. What a great day it is. What a great day to be alive. All right. One, two, three, four. Sorry. <laughs> it was wrong to look south 
told a lie. He reached my mouth, and I felt what I'd only wondered it was like. And I wonder why the moon looks like it does. And I wonder where you are. Goodbye, dream. Just one of a kind. Just like you and I. The dunes in the sky. We ride until the moon. Texas nights And what was wrong It could be sad Or lonely as what's right And if I know me I'll never let it go And I wish that I was in The Padre Wind Is one of the kind It's like you Song number one. Oh, I'll get you a turn. What was that oh, song called? That song is called Padre Wind. Padre and Wind. Scarlett and I wrote and Scarlett and I wrote that one. Nice work, Scarlett and Lily May. I, I'm Thank curious. You. So we're getting to know you a little bit. We did joke about the uh, Robert Plant stuff. You guys get to do a lot of fun stuff. You get to tour on your own quite a bit. You guys have been a band since you could walk. Like this is this is crazy to talk to somebody that's been in the industry as long as you have at, at such a young age. What's it been like transitioning from your first iteration of the family, which I believe we have a photo of, uh, of some glam oh, really? days of the, uh, of the family <laughs> band. Check out the jacket. Look at those, man, I'm digging it. So from <laughs> then, <laughs> that was like, all right. when was this? Yeah. That was, I was 14, so whatever the math Crazy. is on that. So <laughs> almost 15 years ago. What's it like going from that and just being in the industry your whole, to, to ch making changes, but still maintaining the family atmosphere? You've brought Misa on board. There's, it's just so interesting to me that you literally <laughs> get right into it. Well, so we, um, we yeah, we, we've had the family band since I was three years old, we were full time and did that. Um, <laughs> the dogs are barking in the other room. Bring them um, in. <laughs> so they, uh, so, so we all played forever together. And then, um, like our family band was called Gypsy. And then, um, like, so I made these, you know, a couple of solo albums. So we still, we also, we do family band stuff as well. And we have another sister, Grace, who sings. So, you know, so it, it's, 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 it's so cool. It's amazing to just have such a musical family. It's, 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 un, it's been unreal. It's been really, I wouldn't have been able to make it through just about quarter, quarter of anything without them supporting me. So do you look down you know, on non-musical our... families? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, good. I was going to say, let's just cut it off here. I need that. I need that confidence. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sign someone up for this for anything. It's it's a unique situation. Like I, 
I can't imagine. But it's the only life you guys know, right? <laughs> this is what you do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Can we move on? Uh, <laughs> I do want to remind people, I let you know in the comments, but uh, people are watching all around the country. Got people in Ohio, Texas, all over the place. How's Nashville been treating you since you've been locked down? I love the setup. We were talking about this. You guys have done some kick-ass streams since all this stuff's gone down. Are you staying sane? Are you are you working through things? New music on the way? For sure. <laughs> yeah, we um we went right into you know directly from you know quarantine and everything from the beginning. We went right into uh, some major gardens. So we really utilized our time at home instead of you know like we're always everybody's always on the road or things are inconsistent. You can't a lot you know a garden is such a luxury of like if, of a traveling life you know right. so like that was really awesome we got to do that and we have been super busy recording writing a lot of writing a lot of demos um you know there's been some you know a little bit of session work here and there and that's um been you know been awesome so things like that and misa has a you know he's got all this all the recording gear and everything so really it's been just a blessing to to have been able to go through the quarantine and everything and actually still be able to do things from home and that's all all his gear and everything so thanks to him we've been able to do that he 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 <laughs> big shout out to misa <laughs> big fan yeah, for real if you guys want to take it away with the second song let's keep this party going awesome. cool. um i need like two seconds of tuning just i don't i don't like banter we're just going to sit here quietly <laughs> Scarlett, step up. What's happening over here, Scarlett? I hear, I hear you have a daughter that you've brought on tour with you. Yes. Her How name is that? Millie. What up, Millie? Yeah. Is Millie, Millie gonna yeah. is she already playing music? Is she singing? Um, she's actually making up a lot of her own songs already. But she she's got like a piano and a mandolin, but she's not that into it yet. But she's a great traveler. She was great. I mean, I thought she was great on tour. Other <laughs> people might be like, The nah. band's like, mm, <laughs> <behind you." laughs> I thought she was good. <laughs> she did run the show, but she was. That's got to yeah. be how that works. It's so funny because yeah, like, I feel like people think just touring is just nonstop partying and uh, pull into this town, pull into that town. But this is the reality of a family band. Kids get to come along, <laughs> check out the whole tour. Just. Yeah, just two tours, though, I think she was on. Only but, two. Yeah, we used to party. Yeah. <laughs> I used to, it used to be a fun party. <laughs> it's, it's still a fun party. Oh, it's always, it's just not that kind of party, but it's still right. a party. Oh, it's a party. A party, I, only we, a party. Get to, we, we get to live to the next day. <laughs> next day and do it again. You get to play into your 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Frank. Yeah. Should we What's do the other part? Yeah. yeah. Um, is this a good position for me to be in? Thank you. I'm still on the other side of you. If you want. Yeah, whatever you here. want. Well, I feel like I'm in the way over here a little bit. You're not in the way. A little bit of Frank's way, I think. Um, <laughs> she's back. Oh, <laughs> cherry pies oh, broke out again. Oh. Uh, here's one called Blue Heart. Sound, you sound wonderful. So lost. 
Cheers to you guys, man. Thanks. You got the Cherry comments pie all fired up. The other room. What, what happened? <laughs> Cherry pie, she's going wild. She what just kind of, can't bear that we're in here and she's in there. What kind of dog is Cherry pie? She um, can't be described. <laughs> <laughs> she would bring her in. Bring her in. Yeah. She, yeah, uh, the, she's a mountain herb mix. Sure. Mom calls her Heinz 47. <laughs> <laughs> She's Brindle, and she's on her way in. She's okay. In. Let's see, we Cherry had, Pie. Had, there's just so many cords around. It happens. Some, some sensitive cables. <laughs> Before the show, a little behind the scenes, there was some kind of a technical issue that there was a Christian talk music radio station bleeding in, and I was sitting over here just trying to be respectful, like, hey, everybody gets ready for live streams a different way. <laughs> You know, and then Mesa's like, dude, I thought I thought you were listening to that. <laughs> so wow. from everywhere to people streaming on their phone in their living room to Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbert streaming has its it's fun. So we appreciate <laughs> right. everybody tuning in. I'll remind everybody you can win a Lily May album. Hit share. Let people know you're enjoying the show here on Drinks with the Band. We're going to give this away courtesy of Jack Daniels. And then we've also got a Jack Daniels giveaway as well. Do you guys have a, a favorite cover? It doesn't, we're doing the, the so the prize giveaway. What's that? Nothing. 
Oh, we're doing a, a prize giveaway, and it's name your favorite cover that's better than the original. So you oh. guys, do you have a, a favorite cover song? That's that's who who does that whose version is better than the original that our version would be better than the original. Someone does. Oh, okay. so like somebody. Like, 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 okay. Wayland, you know, like uh, yeah, like Way or, or like uh, okay. Waylon Jennings. <laughs> um, Aw. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, you guys are big Darius Rucker fans. So you would probably pick that over the original. Like wagon wheel. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sure, we we used to open for Darius. He's a nice guy. I've interviewed him before. He's he was a nice, he was a super nice guy. He is. He actually used to cover one of our family band songs. See, did he do it better than you? Oh, <laughs> maybe that's your favorite cover. Is this cherry pie? This is cherry pie. What's up, cherry pie? <laughs> He is also part sea cow. So Lily's I'm had a cherry pie since her 16th birthday. <laughs> and Scarlett had her two not weeks cherry, before then. Not Cherry's 16th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's 16th birthday. Yeah, I got her on her 16th birthday. <laughs> she's holding up. <laughs> she well, 16. she's actually 16 now. Maybe. I have a 16-year-old oh. dog, and I look at her every day. Yeah. I'm like, how? What's happening? <laughs> it's amazing. Sorry, I'm going to run Lily's Scarlett, are you getting tired? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen their face on her way down. <laughs> that was so great. <laughs> I was going to say, haven't been on tour, haven't had to lug around stuff in a while. Cherry pie might be a little bit of a workout. She is, for <laughs> right. sure. Hey, I yeah, get it. Usually, actually, cherry pie, usually she carries our stuff for us, we'll too. To this game. Sweet of her. She helps us on tour, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Are you a huge Warrant fan? I don't know. Somebody else? Anybody Cherry else Pie. That song by Warrant. Oh. oh. That would be a uh, well, weird thing to name a dog after. Scar yeah, she actually had a disease called Cherry Eye, so it was pretty easy. Her name so came just easy. Eye pie. <laughs> As one does. I get it. So, so what's Sam happening back there? Um... So I, I want to go back to this. I game. wonder what's uh what a good what's the what's a better what's the best cover? Let's see. Um what's no. that song that the uh the one that Ronnie Mills have recorded but also we covered the girls song? Crystal Gales, that kind of thing. Oh. Here's a good cover song. Let's go get stoned. Ray Charles. Covering Ronnie Millsap. Nice. I mean, he just recorded the song. That's cool. But it's a Ronnie song. That works. But Ray Charles made it, you know, super famous. Cool. A more modern version uh, that won't make the list. Like, nobody's saying Weezer doing uh, the Toto song, right? Like, nobody's saying that. I don't think I've ever even heard it. There you go. See? Under My, under my Rock, I don't think that song has played. <laughs> I don't think we've Do heard that one under my rock. As musicians... Do you guys find yourself appreciating other music or is it just kind of just so much you're clocked in yeah. all the time you can't even enjoy it? Oh, of course. We, we just it. listen to music all day long, all of us. Okay. It's, you know, I think, you know, especially like stuff that's so cool, like, you know, it's like music as like, as we know it, like, yeah, we love, we love the musics that we love and listen to and stuff. But like, I think like culturally so much in, in this, you know, like um, different, like, um, music from different countries and stuff and tribal music i think it's just so amazing that like grooves and beats that in some music it's like you know how music is healing for people sure. well it's like in these you know these grooves and beats and stuff that are they were you know created to in the in they you know put you in a trance and actually do heal you know like like some of that just crazy stuff i think it's just so it's so cool so well, amazing like and you, you guys can probably appreciate that on such a, I guess, basic level. Like you're, you're hearing it through, like um, the amount of things you guys have heard and played <laughs> at a certain point, you might have to hone in on something that you don't hear on a daily basis to even pull any inspiration from it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm, yeah. I simply, you know, listen to a lot of the same stuff I've always listened to. Just kind of <laughs> easy. It's like, oh yeah, love this record. Put it on again. 
I'm guilty of that too. Yeah. Um, I will say this. Shout out to Katie Tupin. Thanks to Katie. She books the show, hooked us up with like Lily that. May. I believe hey, uh, she's been working hard on some music herself. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, Katie's awesome. She's the best. Absolutely. She's got great taste too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, I almost got to see her when we played Lexington last, which is the only show we've done since since the pandemic. That's so but we wild. Just didn't get to see her, but almost. But I look someday. To her. <laughs> yeah. Anything yeah. on the books for now that you guys are planning on hitting for a live show? We have a couple things. Um, a couple of festivals. There are a couple of dates that were canceled 2020 that are that are you know will be revisited later this year. Hopefully, if they can if they can sort things out. So there there is a few things, and there's also a, a handful of dates that are about to be posted up. Of and we'll see if you know we'll see what happens if 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 everything is able to to, to go through and stuff. But yeah, we're in the works of some a couple different tours for sure. That's exciting. If, I bet you guys are ready to get back out on the road. You betcha. All right. How about song number three? You guys down? <laughs> Take it away, guys. Number three. What should we do? Should we do a cover? You dream back in my mind. Do you want? Do you want to? Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, should I play fiddle? Um. Back in my mind. Back in my mind. Back oh, in my one. mind. Back in my mind. I just yeah. don't. Like when Frank was sorry, half or something, maybe <laughs> half and half. Right. Do I just vamp? Do we just vamp one? Dun, 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 dun. Cool. All right. Here's a here's one here's a Ronnie Millsap song. Just vamp on the one. Oh, my God. 
I'm really doing well. I've met someone who thinks the world of me. And he talks to friends and whispers love and things. Is everything you'd want to make? Another great tune. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Working Thank through you. it with the cover. Now, do you have an idea of, of how many streams you've played since everything's got going? It seems like you guys are so busy. <laughs> since what? Sorry? Just, live streams oh, streams. Yeah. I, I, sorry. I didn't hear what you said. So oh, sorry. it's okay. Sure. I, I was like, how many strings have we played? I'm like, I was just I was looking all. for, uh, I was looking for what I was missing. Nope. Um, we, we were doing, we did a bunch of them. We were going, we did a bunch of live streams. We did them weekly. We did, uh, we were doing one every Sunday there for several months. And then we've done a couple, you know, we've done some other things Many, like some pop up dates as well. Just pop up dates. Random, <laughs> random pop up dates. We were doing live from Layla's, like we were going live from Layla's Facebook page. And Big then, shout out to Layla's. Thanks to, to them for supporting you guys. And, and I'm excited for them to come back strong too. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah those, there's no keeping Layla down. That's for sure. She's, she's, she's back. She's, she's back with a vengeance already. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, she's awesome, Layla. She's cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, when you get back out on the road, what's? I know you've got some dates kind of in the works. Let's say fall, it's back to somewhat normal. Is it this version of the band? How does? How do you guys attack that, or is that just kind of you hit it? What you figure it out whenever it gets here? Yeah, just you know, kind of usually the week of, you know, <laughs> we yeah. usually. Who's available? <laughs> Yeah, no, really, though, we, boil, we do boil it down to the last minute a lot. I, um, no, it just, um, I mean, hopefully, hopefully it'll it'll be these cats and plus plus a couple of other ones, I, I sure hope. But, no, you know, we do different variations, yeah. For, for sure. And I'm curious, too, because you all are, are very versatile. You, you, you do a bunch of different things. Does your own personal project ever suffer because other people are taking you out on tour with them, sessions, different things like that? Is there, is it all just, you're just busy all the time or does the personal main, I guess, Lily May, does that ever suffer? She doesn't need us. <laughs> does, does, <laughs> does it ever suffer? Does, does Lily May ever suffer? <laughs> As in the group. <laughs> this particular said, project. Well, Speak it, about yourself in so third funny. person, please. It's funny. Um, no, I mean, I, no, I, I've, you know, any opportunity or whatever that I've had to play with other people. Like I've had, you know, incredible opportunities like that, get, you know, getting to play with, with somebody and then getting to open for them, 
you know, shit like, like, no, it's only ever been beneficial. I think it's cool to, uh, you know, to kind of just to play in all, to all play in all fields. I'm like, if you're, you know, to teach their own or whatever, but I've never had the desire to just focus on, on just my own project anyway. I mean, I'm always looking to, you know, to, to get to work with people and, and, or whatever. And, and have, I think it's cool to have multiple projects. <laughs> Some people need it, man. You can't, do, you got to work on a bunch of different stuff. You have so much creativity. It's, right. it's a thing. I'm, I'm curious too, before your last song. Comedy. Difference between playing like a huge stadium show and then a packed small show. Where do, what do you personally, give us the difference in that, like, just noticeable things other than the obviously the size of the crowd stuff like that but packed stadium or i guess you could say festival or just a, a sold out 200 cap room <laughs> um i mean everything you know things are i don't know different just different those shows are different you know there's different energies like when you're playing in front of that many people it's just like you can't help but just be like you're you're you feel like you're in the clouds because that much energy <laughs> right. in one place is just like unreal. And you're like, I think you feel so free and you're just like bouncing on a stage from across the whole stage. It's <laughs> like, when do people get like, what a, what a freaking wild and wacky thing to, to do, to get yes. to do, like to get to like dance and, you know, hear dance monkey in front of like all these people. <laughs> it's just wild. But uh, I think, you know, there's everything's cool. If you're, you know, doing a, you know, a, a, a show like, you know, there's an incredible energy that happens in those rooms and any, you know, any uh, sold out show, like 200 people, that's, that's a, a, a heck of a show. Yes. That's killer. They're all good. They're all fun. Great answers. I'll let you guys hit your last song. You guys have been amazing, by the way. Thank you so much for the time tonight. Misa, fun. you're holding it down back there. Proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Sto I, stoic. I appreciate, I appreciate your words, man. I, I've uh, decided to, I think this has become quite the <laughs> right. upright recently. You're brave. I'd pick something that was lighter, for sure. Out of laziness. I wouldn't care if it suffered. I'd just be like, eh. <laughs> this is my first paying gig. You guys are paying, right? <laughs> Who? They're, they're cutting out. Hello? <laughs> Guess we'll just end it here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Should we do other chickens, other squirrels? Yeah. Do you know other girls? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll Gonna do didn't I? Sure. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna take her on home with this tune called Didn't I? <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two,
another great tune from our friends down in Nashville. Guys, wonderful job. We do this show every Wednesday. Lily Mae, Misa, everybody, you guys are fantastic. I really appreciate you coming on. I will say, if you're just tuning in, we've got some great shows coming up. Be sure to check out, I believe next week, we got Ben Nichols from Lucero. Uh, we've got our friends in the Minx, that's right, and then Rayana J from Los Angeles. So, And then I believe Sadler Vaden is after her as well. So great lineup coming up every Wednesday for the next five, six weeks. So season two, kicking ass. You guys were so great. Lily, Misa, everybody, thank you, thank you so much. Say bye to Cherry Pie for me too. Awesome, we will. The Minx, you know the Minx. Awesome, cool. Talk to you soon. We'll get the prizes out, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.